Hello, this is a short video just to introduce the motor script. It's quite command heavy, so I've made this little video just to introduce the different commands and what they do. So, the first thing that you want to do is get into the motor zone and type slash use. I recommend getting right next to the motor to do this because the zone's quite small. Now, what this use command does is it locks you into the motor. It means no one else can use it or change the settings or fire it while you're using it. If you walk out of the zone of the motor, you'll notice that it breaks the connection automatically so you don't need a command to unuse all you have to do is walk away or run out of ammo so after you've used it then the first thing that you want to do is enter the settings now this constitutes of elevation and traverse elevation is the vertical angle and traverse is the horizontal angle so for elevation you type slash me and a number between 75 and 85 75 means it will fly further but is less accurate 85 means it will fly close and is very accurate and after that you want to set up the traverse now the traverse works on zero being straight ahead looking towards the enemy's base so negative numbers are to the left and positive numbers are to the right so if i was to type in slash mt minus 10 i would aim 10 degrees off the center line to the left it's a bit complex to think about it at first, but once you get used to it, you'll realise it's quite intuitive. So, once that's all done, fire a round. To do this, you type slash fire, and 16 seconds later, your round will impact on the target. Now, by default, this script comes with four different types of ammo that you can fire, and these are as follows. The first round is air burst. Now, as the name suggests, airburst explodes in the air. This means it doesn't do any damage to buildings and structures unless it explodes next to one, but it does do maximum damage to any infantry that are exposed and to infantry in trenches as well. So, to choose the ammo type, you type in slash M ammo for mortar ammo and the ammo type, which is airburst. Now you'll notice it says it requires one round to fire a shot. What this means is because the server grants you so many rounds per kill, by default it's five, it means that you require one round to fire one shot. For other ammo types it's different. So for the heavier ammo, the ones which cause more damage to terrain, you need more rounds to be able to fire them. Think of rounds as more like points than rounds. So for the bigger stuff, you need to have more kills and it will burn through your rounds more quickly so you need to pick the right type of ammo for the right job right so if we fire that off and we'll be able to see what happens when it lands on the target now as you can see it didn't leave any crater and you can see it clearly burst in the air before it reached the ground so the next ammo type is high explosive also known as HA what this is for is it does small damage to buildings and terrain and it also is good for killing people. This is the default round type so if you jump onto a mortar without selecting a different round type it will fire this off. This is so that you don't need to set up a round type, it's there as an optional feature. So if we we'll fire a round of this off and watch it explode on the target, you can see that it leaves a nice small crater but it also explodes high enough off the ground that any person nearby will take damage or be killed outright. So the next ammo type is called a Bunker Buster, or BB for short. To select this round type, you type in slash M ammo BB. Now what this round type is primarily used for is for blowing the roofs off bunkers or damaging structures. It's not so good for killing people. You'll be very lucky to be able to kill someone with this. So it's primarily used to destroy enemy structures. So if we find a small salvo off, and we'll be able to see it land. So as you can see, it did quite some damage to the roof of the building, and it also left a very nice crater in the ground here. As you can see, the crater is actually two voxels deep, not just one. This is because the grenade penetrates into the ground before exploding rather than exploding just above the ground. And the final type is called a heavy bunker buster, or HBB for short. To switch to this round type, you type in slash M ammo HBB. 
Now this requires three rounds per shot, which means if you've got nine rounds, you can only fire three. What this round type is primarily used for is for destroying large structures or killing people inside bunkers with a one voxel thick roof because it penetrates two voxels under the ground before exploding which means it does maximum damage to the ground but it'll penetrate through a roof and kill the occupant inside if you're lucky. Right, so again fire off a short salvo and watch them explode on the target. Right, so as you can see we had two explosions on land and one fell into the river. Now you notice this crater is only two voxels deep, but that's because the layer underneath is ground. That can't be destroyed. If we go back to this crater over here, we'll see that it's three deep. Now this is the maximum damage a grenade can do, and that means it'll do maximum damage to any structure. Another command that you can use is slash check. Now what this does is it checks the settings on any friendly mortar. You don't have to be using it, you only have to be near it. And another thing is that settings are persistent across all mortars. So if we've got these settings on this mortar, and I go over to another mortar and change that on the settings, both mortars store their settings. So that means if I log out after I'm finished using the mortars, the next person to jump on will be able to continue using the setting that I had programmed into the mortar. So they can just jump straight on and start firing on the target that I was. And finally, if you ever find yourself in enemy territory and their mortars have been tearing your team apart, what you can do is destroy a mortar. Now, you do this, you get close to the enemy mortar. It has to be an enemy mortar, mind. You can't destroy friendly mortars. So you go up to it and you type in slash destroy. As you can see, it'll be out of action for five minutes. Now that's a server controlled option. Uh, each server can have its own number that it's destroyed for. So now, if an enemy tries to use the mortar, they'll get a message saying that it's destroyed and a countdown to how long is left. Now, if a mortar on your side does get destroyed, hope isn't lost. You can repair it once the time limit's gone. Uh, to repair it, you just type in slash use, and this will repair it. To use the mortar, you need to type in slash use again. So, that about covers the basics. Um, if you need any more help in game, type in slash m help. That's m for mortar, help. And that will bring up a glossary full of instructions. So, I hope you enjoy the mortar script. And I'll see you on the battlefield.